Hello everybody and welcome back to Mountain Blade Bannerlord. So we are straight back in it. We are at war with uh, Vlandia. So we're going to just kind of hop in an army and head over there and see what happens really. Um, I hope all of you are doing very well today. For whoever, whenever, whatever time you're watching this. Oh, is a caravan. I might want to hit that real quick. Disrupt some of their economy that it's already... Oh, never mind. It's going to... All right. So I am actually... The game has been updated. I am now in 1.5... Point seven, <laughs> the most recent stable branch um, update as of as of when this video was uploaded um, and it involved a lot of the updates I talked in a previous episode about all the updates it are doing and quite frankly I forgot about some of the up the upgrade you know what the update does I remember reading holy crap Lex going in with a thousand men god damn that's a lot Dude, look at how many people this is. That's insane. I, I'm trying to think of an army that I've seen that's bigger than that. And I think it might have been Vlandia in my Bledry playthrough. Um, that's mighty impressive. The fact that we can muster up that kind of uh, force. And that's one army as well. So, uh, yeah, kind of crazy. They've actually changed it now. So, I believe... I'm. Aw, why is it dispersed? We were about to go and slap some people in this army. Come on. Well, all right. We're all heading there individually now to just go and cause terror. Um, there you go. There's already seven, another 700 people over here. That's in, This is insane. Okay, so they're going straight for um, Nevyansk Castle. It's the closest one to Kalias. It makes sense. We've got a bit more solidified land around here. So we've got this section. Um, which is quite nice. So, apparently building the siege camps is like 33... But the siege phase is like... Um, building the siege camp is 33% longer than it was before. I believe that was one of the things. And there were a lot of updates that happened in this one. Mostly fixing the skills as well. So, a lot of the skills have been implemented now for the characters to use. Which is nice. And I talked previous episode about what the update does. Um, and now it's the stable version. Oh, we're going... Really? We're going straight in? Oh, it's only 59 people. I only just realised... I didn't even look at the number of men, and I just saw... I was thinking, oh, it'll give you, like, 500 men in here or something. But nope, 59. So, yeah, I can... That makes sense as to why uh, we're not... Uh, we're not waiting around to build a battering ram or siege tower. It's not really needed. Um, ladders will do just fine, I'm sure. Against a... Against um, a small group of militia. But I hope you've all got a drink, whether it be a cup of tea, cup of coffee, smoothie... Um, alcoholic beverage, maybe even water. Um, I've got myself a glass of water here. I hope you all chill out for the episode. All right, here we go. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's get ready up at the battlement. I can't even see anyone on the walls. There's that few people in here. I cannot see them on the walls. They're getting hit already. I can see he's getting hit. That's quite funny. Damn, they've already got the ladders up as well. Dodged it. He just moves to the side. There we go. I think I'm hitting like an invisible wall there. Yeah. They're getting messed up. Just a good bit here. All right. Come on. Let's get up. Make it nice and quick. Frame rate's a bit better in this battle. They haven't optimized sieges the best yet. But, um... Frame rate's a bit better since there's so few on the enemy side. I would have thought the battle would be over by the time I got to the top of the ladder, I'm going to be honest. There you are, they're already up on the walls there. I 
I cannot wait for like when this game releases fully and it's been like completely optimized and you know they've fixed a lot of the pathfinding issues. I think this game is going to be just it is an incredibly fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing so many series. You know, I wouldn't have done like three separate series on the game if I didn't find it enjoyable. Obviously, but that goes without saying. But uh, you know, I think it's more so just that I it'll make it so much like more frequently like constantly enjoyable if that makes sense because uh they get god these guys are taking hits ah he went behind the rock wow this is brutal Yikes, wow. They just got pummeled. I lost two guys in that, really? I didn't want to lose anyone. Uh, I hate to lose men to such a small siege, but there you go. Way it is. Right, so five prisoners. Wow, we got a whole lot of levels up here. I didn't realize we had. Um... Ooh, I haven't heard this music in a while. Very pleasant. I like it a lot. All right, we're back out. Nevyansk. Oh, uh, God, that's a mouthful, that song. Uh, that song? Oh, my God. That, uh, that name. All right, we're going straight for another castle. Wow, we are, like, like, laying them out right now. Hardcore. We're just going straight in for the punches, you know? Not messing around with Landia today. If we can take a good amount of this territory, we have a nice foothold to take on Britannia, then. Because we can attack them from so many different places, you know? We can travel all along here without being worried of attack if we're at war with them. And we've got a lot of close, easy access. Oh, oh my god, it's Durthur, the leader of the Vlandians, for those of you who don't know. That bastard. I can't believe we're going straight in for another uh, siege, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised. Bragging about the Sturgeon's Grants, Nevyansk castle, castle to not me. <laughs> Which is fine by me. Alright, there's 200 people in this one, so this will be a lot more... Uh... Okay, this... God, we're really cocky, aren't we? <laughs> this army. We're just going in with no battering rams, like no siege towers. We are just going in like full on. That is hilarious. That's how much of a little shit we give right now about the Vlandians and how powerful we are. Here we go again. Right. Uh, this is going to be a rough siege. I haven't seen this castle design before. Ever, I don't think. This is a completely different design that I've never seen before, which is actually really cool. It's really nice to see a different castle. Actually, I'm going to pause it. You know why I've never seen this castle layout before? It's because I've never sieged Vlandian castles. That's why. I've never, like, or at least this, I ha I've extremely little Vlandian castles I've actually sieged. So this is the reason why I've never seen this. Or if I have, I do not remember it in the slightest. But it's so nice to see a different castle layout, you know? Oh my god, that was straight in the side of the head. Ow. We need to be careful here, I'm not... Oh my god, these shots are so nice. Like, we've got superior numbers, but... I'm telling you, it's going to be a bit rough going up like this. It's going to be really rough, actually. I 
I don't want to hit my own men. God damn it. I've been having a bad habit of that recently where I've been hitting my own guys. Oh, I saw him last second as he fired. And he just sits there and takes it. All right. I'm trying to help out our guys up there as much as possible, but it's hard to do. This arrow in my face is really not helping. I'm overshooting now. There's not much else we can really do over here, to be honest. Wait, is that the guy I killed earlier? He's just kind of, like, gone limp against the wall. That's quite funny. I, I'm sketchy. I'm a bit nervous to go up a ladder, to be honest, because... If I die... Oh, well. I'm going to accept that if I die, I die, because often we tend to get stuck on these, because... People follow you up the ladder and then they just don't go up. Or they just don't, won't go back down, so you're stuck even if you get really damaged. But it kind of makes sense because it's just committing fully is going on the ladder, really. That's what it, it symbolizes. Oh my god, look at them. There's so many retreating. They're all running back. Come on, let's get down. I'm probably going to die doing this because they're going to gang up on me, but... <gasps> okay, yep, they're going to gang up on me, all right. They're still spawning in, that's why. God damn it. So they don't care until you get close to them, basically. Okay, yeah, this isn't... This isn't ideal, I'm going to be honest. Guys, 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 guys. Chill. Guys, it's okay. I'm just trying to take a castle. Nothing else, really. Oh. Well, if you... Oh, my God. I'm killing so many of them. This is so cool. Ow. Ow. Okay. I'm getting too cocky now. Shit. Ah. I think he had a hammer in his hand and that made it have the crushing blow thing. Wait, how are there people in there? What? Are there any of my boys in there? Any of my Yeah, there is. Look, that's my shield symbol. That's that's my uh, flag symbol. My my clan symbol. Banner. This is definitely a lot more of a, um, not your typical battle, for sure. This is, yeah, definitely not your typical battle. It's a lot more scrappy <laughs> than they do normally tend to be. Let's, um, let's see if we can speed this up a bit. Unfortunately, we're kind of falling prey to that drip feed effect right now where we're kind of slowly coming in one by one, but they handled it. They eventually got there. Look at this courtyard. Jesus. So cool. Where's Valdem? There he is. In the courtyard with the, with the you know, his victims laid next to him. 14 renown from that one battle. Damn, that's quite impressive. I never really check how much um, renown we get for siege battles. I kind of just play until we get our clan level up more than anything. We'll take all of you. Yep, we'll take you. Uh, not take you, level you up. Cool. Right. Damn, everyone suffered in that, though. Alina, Siga, and Nozon just got apparently shafted during that. Uh, right, yeah, there's nothing else I can really take, is there? 
I could I I need to create a character in this game that uses a crossbow. I've never used a character that uses a crossbow in this game yet. Apparently I need to level up. All oh, my skills. Hey, my bow's up to a hundred now, damn. Decrease mounted accuracy penalties by 30% while using a bow. That's really nice. Or increase my party size by five. Govern settlements gain plus 0 0.5 militia. I kind of like the party size one. It's almost unnecessary. Oh my god. It's more like, it's like, do you want a party skill or do you want a personal skill? I mean, the most, the time I use my bow the most is in sieges and I'm obviously not on a horse then. So I don't think, I think overall the govern militia and stuff like that is a more nice passive effect. So I'm going to go with that. Although 30% is a big reduction in a penalty, it's like way out the pros and cons. For me personally, I don't think I play enough on a horse or use my bow enough on a horse really for it. So how many is in my party then right now? Okay, so we've got 124 men still. Okay, that's good. I was hoping we hadn't lost too many men during these battles. Because that can always be the issue in sitting in with an army. You never check your... Um, you never check the overall... Oh, you know what we'll do. We'll leave the party and we'll start hitting some of these minor lords. Um, but when you're in a big army, you never check your personal party's numbers. And then after you've been in so many battles with your army, you just come out of it and you're like, Oh my god, I'm like half the party size I was before. So you need to be careful of that when, uh, when playing. Grab him. I, he can handle him. I'll go after someone else. How many is that? Oh, we could take that. God, dude, Zeneva, I saved you so hard. She has three people left. I, she is like hardcore saved by Baldim right there. So we're going to have to play it safe in this one. Pure, who the, okay, it's her men going away then. Are they going to be playing it safe? I wonder. Bowman forward! Infantry! Backs to each other! We'll form a circle because their horse archers are incoming right now. Right, they are moving towards us, so. Dude, that's so cool seeing that. Look at that. So we need to be careful. Uh, I wasn't really keeping an eye on my health, but that's fine. As long as I I'll just play the commander role, like kind of strategic rather than the warrior commander for this one. Soldiers, move! Infantry! Skein formation! We'll get a skein going, um, and we'll just hope our archers do some good work here as well. I could actually, probably better, would be to put the archers up here. Infant, move! Move! Archer forward! Yeah, that's probably better. We got much more of an advantage with the archers up here. I would spread them out typically, but uh, I think I because I haven't got really enough. Cavalry! We'll get our cavalry move! to go far left. Cavalry forward! We'll get our horse archers to go far right. can't even see them. The trees are really... Luckily, the AI has aimbot. <laughs> Infantry! Form a line! Infantry! Form a shield wall! Get in the shield wall, guys. Just let the archers do their work and just chew them up. Dry everyone in. I sorry, I couldn't help it. I saw that flank and I had to jump in. I saw them getting flanked and I was like, I'm not letting my boys getting killed on that like when I can stop it, you know. Beautiful, right. Terrain really worked in our favor here. Oh, do you see that? That was just like, oh my god. I love hits like that. 
that when you just come out of nowhere and they don't expect it. There goes the knight. Seems like our cavalry, they've got a bunch of archers back here for some reason. Oh, they're, it's their retreating archers, right. Um, okay. The terrain is making it really hard. We'll slaughter them as much as we can. We don't like Vlandians. We're not a fan. Not bad. How many did I lose? I didn't lose a man. Oh my god. That was an amazing battle then. Alwith has died on the battlefield. Wait. Who's Alwith? Was she one of the lords involved in that? Oh my god. Hey, look, that's a Vlandian banner. You have gained 10 influence. New influence is 49. Zeneva, it's good to see you. Amalgan, you are mine. Bert Bertliana. I'm going to look back in the... Oh my god, three lords to, for me? God damn. So it seems like we killed a lord in there. An enemy lord. I'm, I'm going to have to look back in the recording. Just double check that that was one of the lords that was there then. But that definitely seemed like that was the case. Yeah, because it wasn't any of my group, and there was only one other... It had to be an enemy lord, and they don't carry around followers, so... Um, let's get rid of all these militia... Guys, um... And we'll get in these more valuable units. Volgia, Gallant, Vanguard... Got some... A bit of a mix of units, some Empire units in here. Lots of, they got Sturgeon guys in here as well, which is confusing the hell out of me. But probably because they're different lords from different... Like, certain lords are defected and this made a bit of a mix of troops. Vlandian Corsa, a whole lot of loot. Nice, we'll be making some good money, especially off the lords as well. Excuse me? Oh, I can't see my party. That's a glitch. Okay, I can't see my party count right now. So we just, yeah, she has no one in her party. She's like that broken. There is a, she, apparently she isn't even existing right now. God damn, they're going straight. Dude, we are just going in on the Vlandian right now. We've taken two castles and we're going straight in for a main town. Oh, god damn, Vlandian's actually, Vlandian's actually, oh, right. These are the castles they had before, actually. Oh my god, I bet they're... Their main army is probably sieging Oxhall right now. Interesting. We take this, though. They've only got a castle and a major town here. And we've got multiple armies. So it ain't looking good for the Vlandians. I'm telling you that much. And there's another... Yeah, there's a spare army walking around. That's crazy. Right, we're going to head into Batanian territory and sell our stuff. Amalgam has escaped from your... Aldrich has escaped from your... Everyone's escaped from my party all of a sudden. What? They all escaped? Really? Why? That's dumb. They just escape because they get to... They just escape because they get to escape. That's weird, to say the least. Must be... I, I'm assuming that's a glitch. Where you capture them and... I don't want to recruit anyone. Where you capture them and they like... You know... That you capture them and they instantly escape. They had that with the garrisons before, but now it seems like they just do it. And let, well, we'll have to see if it happens again. But uh... okay, right, eleven thousand. Not bad, eighty-five k. Not making as much money as we normally would from, but it's because you've been doing sieges rather small sieges rather than. You know, a lot of land battles. So, pitch battles, I should say. I 
I kind of... It's Ragnvad doing it as well. Um, I need to play it very carefully here. Oh, they're in there right now, actually. Okay, I'll help. Why not? I want to be a part of Vlandia's downfall. All right. So, we've actually got a battering ram and a siege tower. Let's do this. Again, I haven't seen this castle layout. These are castle layouts I have not seen before, I don't believe. And I love it. I love seeing new castles. It's great. Because my first two playthroughs were set in Britannia, and often in both of those playthroughs, we were getting crushed. So I was or I was fighting either Empire Castles, Britannian, or Sturgeon. Those are the three that I've had pretty much all experience with. I've n I can't remember, you know, Azurai Castles. I've fought, I've done a couple, but not many at all. Um, and I can't really remember their designs. I don't think I've done a Kuzate one, and these are the Vla these Vlandian ones are the ones I'm doing for the first time. So. Oh my god, there's a lot of people that just died then. Oh my god, they're just insta-killing everyone with that. They need to limit the amount of ammo that thing can have. Unless there already is a limit on it and I don't know about it. God, I'm missing loads this siege. Jesus Christ. This... This catapult is just wrecking our shit right now. Last arrow. There we go. Hopefully they're getting close enough now where we they can't hit him anymore. Somehow the battering ram managed to survive that. I have no idea how. I've, uh, I should learn my lesson by going up first, but I'm going to do it. And again, people are only going up the middle ladder. They really... Uh, that's a lot more guys than I was expecting. There's a... Shit, we're getting pushed back here. There we go. Right, this fighting started at the main gate now. They don't care about us anymore. Yeah, they've already gone through them. Jesus. 
That was quick. I don't want to replace an item. Well, it was pretty successful considering, uh, you know, we actually survived for one and we fought on the, the siege tower. And that's pretty much uh, game over, I think. So I lost five men. Wait. Oh my God, my wife died on the battlefield. Oh my God, Sega died. I saw her name on my, I looked down and I saw there was a dead, like a dead one next to her name. I was like, oh no, I can't. Sega, my wife's dead? Really? God, people are dying in these battles all of a sudden. It's kind of horrible. I've never... Pl I've oh my god, Rag uh, Ragnvad's happy. <laughs> happy. Um, but yeah. Uh, I have the death mechanic enabled and it's the first playthrough which I've done it. And it is no joke. You don't want people like going not down all the time because there's that chance that they will die. And that's, um, I kind of like it, to be honest. It adds a bit of weight to the, um, you know, going into battles and stuff. You don't want to just, like, throw away guys willy-nilly, you know? We need more war horses as well. Oh, wow, we got a lot more. Okay, that's that's really gutting for us, but luckily she wasn't in a um, in a position of like uh, you know within the clan that would detriment my army. Like if I lost Nozon. Oh right. oh my god! I'd never heard that before. That scared me then. Jesus. So. Sega, why? My wife. I shouldn't have brought her along in the fights. God damn it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I'm going to give Noz on his own party. Actually, no, 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 no. I can't. Oh, Alicia. Wait, hang on. How old is my younger sister? One second. Oh my god. I only just realized this in my family tree. My father was called Baldem and I'm called Valdem. That is such a just that is completely coincidental. That is so funny. Yeah, so Alishka is my younger sister. Um Alishka is the little sister of Valdem. She has been abducted by bandits who intend to sell her into slavery. No, not quite. So she's 20 years old, so we could have a warrior sister for sure. Uh, that sounds badass, to be honest. Let's give her a party then. I've got the money to pay for her party, so that's fine. Oh, look at her little sister getting ready to go into battle. Adorable. She'll become a killing machine in no time. She'll become a cold-hearted, you know, no soul in her eyes, killing machine within months. <laughs> give her a taste of a couple thousand man battles and she'll, uh, she'll, she'll be cold. One renown for each issue resolved. 
20% more renown from battles. Oh my god, yeah, that sounds amazing. Hell yeah. Right, so now we have the issue of this army. Uh, okay, now they're going to run scared, aren't they? There's actually a tournament going on in here, weirdly. <laughs> Straight out. Hey, we took Rovolt. Let's party. Right, you know, rather than uh, worry about the huge army that's waiting for us outside. So what are they selling? Are they selling any drugs in here? Damn, they've actually got some good armor. Well, I always knew the Vlandians had good armor, but... Hmm. We need war horses, though, more than anything. Uh, not sumpter horses. I don't want them. Take some desert horses. We need them for the continual, you know, upgrading of our troops. Right, let's see what's going to happen here with this army. I'm curious to see where... I'm kind of just going to rest here for a bit because I need to get full health. Vote for the new owner of Rovolt. Why not? Let's get involved with this one. I'm going to abstain. Godin or Vashorki. Yeah, so we've inflicted a lot more casualties. Right, so this is how many casualties we've inflicted on the enemy. Right, okay. So now I understand that figure. Yeah, we are 6,300 strong. That is insane. I think right now we are the strongest faction. Yeah, we're the strongest faction in the game right now. That's insane. I've never... Again, this playthrough has been so fascinating. Purely because of how it's gone with... Do I have to pay for... I'm not sure if I... I'm assuming I do need... I seem to remember being having to pay... Oh, Morcon, I remember you. You little shit. Wait, who? The Western Empire. Oh, that's not a good time for that. All of our troops and armies are in the wrong place right now for that. They are all in the wrong place for that right now. Although they're fighting... Uh-oh. That's not good. So they're at war with Britannia right now. Okay, that helps a bit. But we need to kind of wrap up what's going here. Um, you know. Because we can't be sitting around fighting Glandia here when all of this open territory is just for the taking right now. Um, I, might I might just head straight to the Western Empire and see if I can postpone some lords. It's the only thing I can do, really, at this point. I've only got 57 influence, so I couldn't really create a big army, either. Hmm. That's annoying. And nerve-wracking. So, Elishka's already got 57 men. Damn, she got troops crook. Quick, quick. Fodor is our brother, but he's not of age yet to go to lead a party, so. Wait, hang on. Could I propose peace by any chance? I wonder. So, um, I, I was made aware that there was a support thing. Uh, so, it'd tell you the percentage of which people will support you. Wow. Wow. Everyone wants to make peace with the Western Empire because it's 95% in support, but I don't have 100 influence right now. Unfortunate. I would probably propose peace with the Western Empire straight away. Um, we'll get rid of Morcon and then we'll head up. Uh, that's close enough. You, I am Valdim. I am Morcon. Fight. Dun, 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 dun. 
All right, here we are. Everyone, follow me. Are they? Let's see if we can get a bit of an advantage of terrain here. Looks like we've got a hill here we could sit on. I think they're playing it defensively anyway. Yeah, it looks like they are. Archers, I think we might hit them with the Sturgeon Rain. Stand apart. Footmen, move infantry. Footmen, move. Right, let's set this up nice. No, 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 hold your fire, hold your fire. We want to time this right. Infantry! Shields up! Give him the shield wall. Infantry! Horsemen, follow me! Right, all of you follow me. I run into a tree while I'm trying to command my men. Give them a slow... Put after me! It's a kill them all! We'll get them to run in now, because we've got strength in numbers right now, so... We'll wait on it a bit, wait on it a bit. Here we go. Oh my god! Wow, that literally couldn't have worked out more beautifully than it did then. Oh my god, these guys are really suffering right now. God, that Banner Knight really wanted a piece of me then. I love that. Thank you so much, Tio, for naming it Sturgeon Rain. It is, the mo it is a badass name for a badass tactic. And it is my new favorite thing to do in this game. It is absolutely my new favorite thing to do. You heard it here. Sturgeon Rain is my favorite tactic. So, Morcon, you were... So we got six influence that from that. We need to get to, we need to sell these prisoners for sure. It's uh, definitely getting a bit hefty with prisoners right now for sure. So I don't care if I'm over my limit. Actually, now that means it's going to take that. Thank you. And we'll actually, we'll get rid of someone in the party. Because I don't want to have it make... Sh I don't want to have it so they quickly get out. Morcon gets quick quickly gets out because I'm over my count. Right, that's fine. Right, let's see if this happens again. If Morcon just quickly escapes for no reason. God, there's actually quite a few lols around here. So we'll ransom everyone. I think we're going to put uh, Morcon in the dungeon just because I want some some influence. Uh, no, 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 Morcon, you're coming with me. And then we shall go to the keep, donate, not troops. We should have gone to. Go to the dungeon, donate prisoners. There we go.
There's actually another Lord in there already. So we got a bit. We actually got charm from that as well, which is quite nice. Um, but we got like six renown. I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure what my, love, my number was before. I think I got like six renown or something like that. Right, so we need to head to the Western Empire front now. Because we're going to get a bit... I don't know. It's going to get a bit rough, I think. More than it, you know, to be honest. I'm a bit nervous about it. I'm afraid this might be a war that we're going to lose uh, troops in. And everyone's breaking from Rag and Bad's army now. Yeah, the army broke. Alishka's already going up there, which is nice. The Diathema Rebels. Someone, or some rebels have taken Diathema then, yep. Yeah. God, Diathema is a pain in the ass. They've had a lot of, we've had a lot of rebel incursions over there. Really getting on my nerves, that group. Wait, hang on. Alishka? Wait, that's my younger sister, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there she is. Right, she's right there. So, definitely, um, Valdim is going to have some resentment for Vlandia now because, uh, you know, they killed his wife. So, he's going to have some major resentment, I think. Although, ultimately, I think it was more on Valdim for bringing her into war. But, she, like, she was a warrior, and, in fact, more skilled than Valdim, if you actually go look at the actual stats, which is quite funny. Um, and Valdim's supposed to be, like, one of these greatest warriors. But that's probably why they ended up being together, is because they're both fierce warriors. 64 looters! It's a mad amount of looters. So, yeah, I definitely think Valdim's going to be hating... Uh, He's going to be absolutely loathing um, Vlandia. So when he gets the chance to wipe him out, he's going to do it. And I understand right now we do have that chance, but we're fighting two wars. And he's got to, for the time being, he's got to suck it up. But one day he will get his own revenge on Vlandia for sure. It's weird. The more I play, the the more these updates come out recently, and the more we play, the more I notice that the time it takes to load in and out of the map and into the trading and load it, like, it seems to be getting, like, slower. I don't know what it is. It's like the load times are taking longer than they normally do. It's not as, like, you know, punchy and quick as it used to be. And I'm not sure if that's something a mistake they made with the uh, updates and it's, like, bloating something in my system to make it take a lot longer but right sweet we're back up in numbers i can't believe my wife died dude that is gonna be a tragic part of valdim's story for sure I hope these rebels don't cause too much trouble now for us while we, uh... You know, while we uh, fight these wars. I'm curious, are they actually taking anything just yet? I don't think they're actually taking anything right now. I'm gonna head over to the rebel area and see what's going on. Uh, cause I don't think anyone else is gonna really care. Uh, maybe there'll be one army that goes there to take it back, but I want to just get an initial scouting out and see what's going on. Ragnvad's around here. 
You know it's serious when Ragnvad's around, because usually Ragnvad stays out of the wars. He's like patrolling at home while the wars happen. But if you know, if Ragnvad's leading armies and going out to fight, that's when you know it's a threat to Sturgia. And I feel like that's a part of his like AI. I doubt it, but it feels almost like he only ever decides to come out and play. Okay. Hi, friend. Who's Zoros? Oh, there's a few lords around here of this faction. We're faster than you, bud. I am Valdim. I am Zoros. I have been chosen by the people of Diathma to lead them in their struggle against tyranny. Tyranny? Dude, the Sturgia are a free people. We do whatever the hell we like. We can take no more. We have raised the standards. We have raised the standard of rebellion and will fight the people's enemies until our just demands are met. So is Zoros, like, did they create this lord now for this rebellion? Or was he an already existing lord in the faction already? Um, like, did he or was he already an empire lord? Because he's got empire troops with him. And I know it's an empire tat city, so he would have, have empire with him. But I'm curious if he only, if he was a previous lord or something like that, and he's become like the hero for these guys, or whether it is just a randomly generated character and they gave him a name and stuff. But Valdin will not take any shit. We are going to put this rebellion down and you'll know what I mean now after this battle's complete. You are not charging us. No way. Are you sui- These guys are suicidal apparently. Yep, they're already shooting at us. Archers, move! Infantry, forward! Infantry! Form a shield! Infantry, move! Cavalry, move! We'll get all of our cavalry to go up. Yep, they're coming straight at us. Move! Archers, loose formation! Honestly, what are these guys expecting? I guess they're rebels. They're not very organized. I'm just going to put my shield and just sit at the back here because... I mean, this is pathetic. This rebellion honestly just is pathetic. Wow. Didn't lose a man. Not bad. Okay, yeah, I'm not threatened by these guys. I'm definitely not threatened by these guys. That was pathetic. You were my prisoner. And, um, when I said I'm not messing about when it comes to putting this rebellion down, well, just feast your eyes upon the first instance of this in this campaign. And that's what we say to rebellions around here. We're fighting a war. We're fighting for these people to not get, you know, sieged upon and starve or have diseases come. We're fighting, you know, for these guys. And they just decide to create their own little rebellion all of a sudden. I'm assuming Lex coming to deal with that right now. You want to taste too, Xenon? Hmm? 
That was a message for your little rebellion, all right? I'm not gonna kill the rest of you, but that was a message for specifically you. He's the biggest party that they've got, so... Right, they're already sieging it. We're fine. Yeah, that was a that was to send a message to them to be like, all right, guys, we're trying to do our best for you here in these wars. You cannot be just undermining us like this because it just creates so many problems for us. We're going to take it back any moment soon. Anytime now. Lex already on it. He's taken that he's taken that place more times, you know, than he can count. He knows the place in and out. He's got the men, got the influence. We'll be fine. Okay, that's a problem though. That's that's a big problem right there. Where are they going is my question. Right, Faffin's got an army down there. We've got three different armies going on right now. Are they taking Epicatea? They're taking back the land that they once had. Or not? They're going deeper in? Holy shit, that's a lot of people. Alright. And there you go. There you have it, folks. If you try and strike at the heart of Landian territory, we will just descend upon you like wolves. All right, here we go, folks. The final battle for this episode, but um, it'll be the beginning of a new war. And we're fighting a war on multiple fronts. Luckily, Vlandia is so weak, I don't think they're going to be able to do much to us while we're busy fighting the Western Empire, so not entirely. If I say delegate, is everyone gonna... Are they gonna join everyone else, I wonder, or are we gonna be doing our own thing? I think my gr my guys are doing their own thing now. This is a big battle though. I'll hang around with these guys. There's some of the lords here. We'll run with the lords. Zeneva, Kisha's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your name? Yachana. It's a lot of a uh, lot of female warriors here. On this right flank, at least. I'm not sure where all the the male lords are. Yep, there they are. They're all huddled up, all scared, like realizing they'd messed up big time. I don't like what's happening over here. Let's, uh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe this would be a bad idea. All right, there's a Lord gone. <laughs> Guys, I'm bringing friends. Oh, there goes another Lord. That was an amazing shot. There goes another. I'm just wipe, wiping out their lords. Why am I doing so much damage? I'm like one-shotting all of these guys. I am missing now. Big time. I hit my own troop. I'm like one hit. Is this coincidence or is something happening? No, no, no. Right, okay, forty damage.
Let's get rid of some of these archers. I cannot... Ow, ow, that hurts a lot. They all turned to me for a quick second there. Oh no, that's not a good thing. Don't get stuck. Oh my god, they're spawning in around us. Oh my lord. I'm probably going to die in this battle, I'm going to be honest. Ow. Yep, pretty much going to die, I think. Trying to help out as much as I can, guys. I need to get my guys to back up because they're about to get chewed up. We've got a... Back it up, guys. Had him then. All it takes is one arrow right now for me. God, but Valdem is such a badass, bro. It's just so cool. Right, here they come. Jesus Christ. Keep running, guys. I know it's painful. We need to get our infantry in there. It's rough right now. This is a tough battle. They're really putting up a good fight here. Oh no, my horse! I'm dead. I'll take as many of you down with me as I can. Come on, brother! Ah! <laughs> is that is that actually Noz on there? That's a lord right there. Jesus, look at this. We're winning, but this is a very costly battle. I mean, a lot of people have died on this ba in this battle. Gee, look at this pile of bodies. What the hell? This battlefield is insane. No, it's so sad to see them get knocked off their horses and then just beaten up. And then there's this pile of bodies. God, this battlefield's taken, like, this has been one of the most, like, movement oriented battles I've seen. Well, look how scrappy this is. There's just people everywhere. No formations, absolutely nothing going on right now. It is free for all. Is that one of my guys? That's one of my boys right there. Oh, uh, they're done now. Yeah, they're running. Dude, look at this horse. Oh my. G 
Do I lost 32 men during that and 45 wounded. That was really rough. I think I took the biggest hit then from any of the parties. Yeah, I did. I took the biggest hit then. Probably because I had one of the biggest parties, so most of my men were in the... I had a larger portion of my men in the ratio. That's rough. That battle was costly, um, for sure. Damn. I'm going to have to go and recruit some more people back at Sturgia then. Again, you save our next Valden. Truly, you are the best. I must be, like, having an amazing friendship with Zeneva right here. 32, yeah. You are all my prisoners now. 109 here, Jesus. Sharpshooter, right, we've got a lot of to look through here. Oh my god, I can't believe how many men we lost in that then. I think that's the most costly battle we've had. I mean, we've lost battles in the past, so those have been the most costly. But in terms of battles we've won, I think that took the most out of us for sure. Um, winning that battle but that was probably a very important one because now that sets the precedent for us to be able to win the war because now after that big blow they're gonna have to start recuperating and stuff and they don't have as much land as we as we do um so we'll be we'll be more enabled and there's a lot more of us lords wise uh, to be able to keep the push going um while the rest of us heal so 45 wounded troops Kisha has created an army. I just fought with Kisha. Yep, let's head back into Sturgeon territory. Um, so yeah, I am actually going to end the part here. It was a very interesting episode uh, with my wife dying. And we'll make that a big part of Valdem's story, you know. And I think he's going to loathe and resent the, um, the Vlandians for that, um, you know. Vlandia, and that's where something him and Bledry have in common, you know. V now, Valdem has lost people he's loved to to the Vlandians, and he can relate to Bledry on that level, you know, where, you know, Bledry, I mean, Bledry lost a lot more than Valdem has so far. Um, Ble Bledry lost all of his home, his, his home country, you know, his homeland. He lost his homeland. He lost all his, all his friends in the armies and stuff like that. He lost everyone that he knew. And, like, whether they defected and betrayed him or, you know, or they just died. He lost a lot of his own warriors, a lot of his own people, and he lost his own his own home um, and got pushed into a completely different place, a.k.a. Sturgia, that he'd never been to before. Whereas Valdem's only lost his wife. He's fought for blood and glory so far, and he's lost his wife. So that's, that's the first time he's had real resentment for anyone. He only... He just kills the, his enemies for... Stur he kills the enemies of Sturgia, un you know, mer you know, unmercilessly. I don't think that's a word, but you know, without thinking about it, he does it, and he doesn't not second guess it whatsoever. Um, but this time, it, it like the Vlandians made it personal, you know, with what they did to his wife. So very interesting um i'm gonna spend in between these episodes to heal up my troops get my strength back to 130 or whatever it is um what's our clan rating now we're making our way slowly to clan tier four and then we'll be eligible to create a kingdom then um you know which is really cool
And I think we're still far away from making a kingdom because I don't think we have the numbers yet to make a kingdom. Uh, well, after I think, like, we need a lot more people for that. In our own party, I believe. And I think we should have a wife. We should probably remarry because if you look at the time in the middle of the bottom, a lot of time passes. So we'll say Valdem grieved and then found someone else or whatever um, eventually at some point. But he still found it personal, the fact that Vlandian's killed his wife, so. But yeah, I'm going to spend in between this part and the next part just, you know. Um... Oh, we'll just sell everyone at Omal. I'll spend it in between this part and the next part, you know, just... Uh recruiting and leveling up the usual you know how it is and then in the next part we should be fully ready to go um and take on the western empire again go at it one more time anyway guys i'll see you all in the next part goodbye guys